Well, now I can actually believe that Christmas is a week away <laughs> with today's temperatures. Yeah, now, now I just got the memo. It's time to shop yeah. because we've got a week <laughs> left until until Christmas. And it wasn't just the cold, it was the wind. The wind, yes. yeah. I mean, it's, a very, it's been a very rare yeah. combination. We, we saw one little cold snap like this in late November, but uh, so far in December, those have been extremely hard to come by. In fact, most would venture to say that this is the first time it genuinely felt uh, cold outside. And there's no doubt that it will remain in t uh, that the fact here uh, going through the remainder of the evening and overnight hours. Now, when the, st uh, the story is f finally written about this Monday, it'll actually still go down as a, a day with above normal temperatures. How, how could that be? Well, the high temperature actually occurred right around or shortly after midnight. More reflective of the day has been the, the temperature regime that we've seen here the last several hours. We're generally in the lower to middle 20s, but look at the wind chill. It feels like eight right now in Galena. Not a whole lot better here in Rockford. 11 is the wind chill. Earlier on, we had a gust all the way up to 45 miles per hour. That's enough to make for some rather tricky driving conditions, especially on east-west roads because these winds are coming at us straight out of the north and northwest. They are starting to die down just a smidge, but we still do have gusts being reported in a handful of our reporting stations. Now, as we go through the evening and overnight hours, yes, the wind will die down, so the wind chills won't get much below uh, the present uh, state of affairs. In fact, if anything, they actually might come up a smidge here, especially as the winds do die down a little bit more with every passing hour. Still, it is going to be a very chilly start to the day tomorrow, so you will most definitely want to be bundled up. But I do think a nice little recovery is in store uh, during the daytime hours, thanks to the return of at least partial sunshine. We did see some sunshine for the latter stages of the game after early clouds and flurries departed. High pressure now moving in, which means a mainly clear sky is on tap tonight. That'll allow our temperatures to fall all the way down to 15 degrees, one of the chillier nights we've seen. But when you put it in perspective, that's not too far away from where we should be this time of year. Now we are going to have sunshine and cloudiness kind of battling for supremacy over our airspace here tomorrow. I do think that as we go to tomorrow night, clouds will win out a little bit more. That's good news because that will keep our temperatures from bottoming out all that much. And then a good amount of sunshine, just a, a veil of high and mid-level clouds during Wednesday's afternoon hours as the wind shift to the southwest. We'll see a substantial uh, rebound in terms of our temperatures. Now we're close to normal here today. I think we'll be close to normal again tomorrow, but then here we go again. This has been kind of the calling card of the winter thus far. Uh, we are going to see an, uns uh, an unseasonably mild brand of air return to the area and probably for a sustained amount of time. This takes us through at least Saturday and folks, if you're looking for a white Christmas, unfortunately, this is, I think, what we are going to be continuing to deal with in through and beyond the Christmas holiday. So the tomorrow back to the mid 30s, 35 will be our high, then a couple of 46s for Wednesday and Thursday. Could be some rain showers Thursday late in the day, better chances overnight. Friday, a couple of showers mainly early. Saturday looking warm with high temperatures up to 50. Christmas Eve looks to be soggy, especially late in the day and at night, 52 degrees and 54 on Christmas Day. So no snow for Santa to land the sleigh. Might have to navigate through, uh, through some showers, though, as he makes his way into the state line on Christmas Eve night. Hmm, he can uh, handle anything. Yeah, been, nice. been there, done that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is all old hat to him. <laughs> yes, <sure>. definitely. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Sure. Coming up in